Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy, happy Saturday. As you can see, I'm in my car and I'm outside of the grocery store. I'm gonna head in and do my grocery shopping for the week, but before I start my shopping, I wanted to share with you something incredibly exciting that we are doing on my Facebook group. So if you are not part of my Facebook group, it's time, it's time to come and join. I'm gonna put it right here on the screen for you guys, but we are doing a week long challenge. It starts July 26th, so it starts on a Friday, and goes through Thursday. And essentially what I am doing is I am putting together a complete meal plan. This includes all of the recipes, exactly what you should be eating every single day to equal 23 points. Now those of us that get more than 23 points, I'm gonna have some suggested things that you can add to the 23 point menu to get yourself to 33, 34, 35, whatever the amount of points are, maybe upping the protein, or I'm sorry, the portion sizes, or adding an additional snack item, but I'm so excited. I am completely setting you up with an entire meal plan, with recipes, step-by-step -step instructions for an entire week. And we are gonna do a challenge where we're not using our weeklies, we are sticking strictly with our daily allowed points. So the menu will not include weeklies. We're gonna be doing some fun giveaways. There's gonna be some prizes at the end. We're gonna do all sorts of fun stuff throughout the week because I wanna see a huge drop on the scale for every single person participating in the challenge. So there are some instructions, some products that you need to pre-purchase, pre-order, pre-have on hand, and then the meal plan itself will be up a little bit later today. And it'll be on my Facebook group under the files. So you have to be part of my Facebook group in order to participate because that's where the actual meal plan and everything is going to be located. So I am spending a lot of time putting together this meal plan and these recipes to set you up for success. So definitely hop over to my Facebook group, if not to join the challenge, to join a wonderful group of over 450 300 members. Isn't that crazy? 5,300 people are in my Facebook group. It is such a wonderful, warm, positive place. I'm so blessed to have such a wonderful group in Facebook. So check it out. Join the challenge. It's going to be so fun. So I'm going to hop in. I'm going to do the grocery shopping, go back, show you my grocery haul and show you what my meal plan is for this week. So let's get into the grocery store and do some shopping. So here's this week's grocery haul. So I'm gonna take you through everything that I purchased for the week, and then I will give you my meal plan. So I saw these little meal prep containers and I had to pick them up. They were on sale for $5. These are little two compartment ones. Each compartment is a half of a cup. So how perfect are these for fruit or maybe eggs or something that you either wanna warm up or don't wanna warm up with the rest of your meal prep? And they come with these cute little lids, so I thought, couldn't pass those up for only $4.99. So I'm gonna add those to my meal prep container collection. Also chicken was on sale. So I bought some boneless skinless frozen chicken breasts. And I also bought some boneless skinless chicken tenderloins. And this should be enough to get us through the week. We've been eating a lot of chicken lately. I wanna say $4.99, which is not bad. And it looks like these are two and a half pound bags. So not a bad deal for chicken at all. I grabbed two more dozen of my favorite eggs, the Happy Egg. These were still on sale for $3.99 a dozen, which is a fantastic deal for eggs. I grabbed some string cheese primarily for my husband. I went ahead and got the whole milk. Honestly, the points difference was hardly anything compared to the light in this brand, so I decided to just go ahead and get the low moisture whole milk mozzarella string cheese. I also picked up a big container of buttermilk. I have quite a few recipes this next week that calls for reduced fat buttermilk. So I grabbed the big container of that. Also some more of my Crystal Light Lemonade Packs. As you know, I use these to make the Starbucks Copycat Passion Lemonade and I'm about out of the Crystal Light. Seriously, is my very favorite summer drink. So I grabbed another big container of the Crystal Light Lemonade. 
Also, my husband wants tacos for lunches this next week, so I went ahead and picked up this Mexican style sour cream. I'll put the points here on the screen. I'm not sure how many points, but this is that really creamy with the crema Mexican style sour cream, so I'm excited to have that. I also needed some more sugar-free syrup. They did not have the sugar-free Mrs. Butterworth which is my favorite. So I decided to just go ahead and grab the Kroger brand. I use this a lot in baking when I have waffles, pancakes, so I was completely out. So I grabbed another container. Also some green olives. We like to have these on hand for snacking. They're just really a really good snack. My husband really likes these. He eats these and pickles a lot. So I grabbed a big jar of green olives. Also for a recipe, I picked up pineapple tidbits and pineapple juice. I get a lot of questions about these. They are zero points if you drain the juice. Just do not eat or drink the juice and they are a zero point fruit. So I grabbed pineapple tidbits. Also for my dogs, another can of cut green beans. This is the no salt added. I do still rinse these even though there's no sodium. And then we just put these in a little storage container and they last the entire week. And they get these at meals instead of table scraps. So definitely a better choice for your dogs. I grabbed a can of diced green chilies, mild. These are for an upcoming recipe. I really like the fire roasted ones. And I also grabbed a can of the Rotel with lime and cilantro for an upcoming recipe. I didn't even know they made lime and cilantro, so I was excited that I actually found it as per the recipe instruction. So, can of Rotel. I also picked up a can of Hunt's No Salt Added Diced Tomatoes. This is also for an upcoming dinner recipe. And I picked up a container of R&R &R whiskey. This is for my barbecue series. I'm going to be making a recipe that calls for whiskey. So there's another recipe series that I'm gonna be doing as well that I'm using alcoholic drinks. So I'll have some whiskey on hand for that as well. And then also I went ahead and grabbed some dried cilantro. I can never go through cilantro fast enough before it goes bad when it's fresh. So I thought I would just pick up dry and I'll have it on hand anytime a recipe calls for cilantro. You can rehydrate this with just a little bit of water and it's essentially like you have fresh cilantro and it doesn't go bad, which is a definite bonus. I also grabbed another pack of my very favorite center cut bacon. This is the private selection brand. You can have two slices for only one smart point. So I love this bacon. Definitely a good bang for your smart points buck. Also grab some uncured diced ham. This is for a macaroni salad that I make my husband, but this is extremely WW friendly. So I wanted to show you guys the ham as well because it's great in salads. You can put it in scrambles with eggs and egg cups. Lots of things you can do with diced ham and the smart points are very low. I also grabbed a bag of petite medley mini potatoes, the red, purple, and yellow. I like to just have these on hand and I thought that I might do some roasted potatoes this week in one of my recipes. Also on a great sale, I found the Skinny Pop Sea Salt Popcorn. This was on clearance for only $2.50 for the three bags and this pops up in that cute little box. Great smart points value for a huge thing of popcorn. Great to take to the movies, family movie nights, or just to have a filling snack on hand. So couldn't pass up that for $2.50. Also chicken broth, low sodium. This is for an upcoming recipe. Oritis shredded hash browns. This is for my breakfast meal prep this next week. I really like the Orita brand hash browns. They're actually my very favorite brand. The rest is veggie. So I have some frozen peas and some frozen corn. Those are both for upcoming recipes. I grabbed blueberries. They were on sale for only $2.50 for this pack. So that's definitely a fantastic price. I also grabbed some red grapes. They were on sale for $0.99 cents a pound. Again, a fantastic deal. I also had purchased a watermelon at uh, Walmart. And so I have that as a fruit as well. Corn on the cob. I grabbed it pre-shucked pre-cut, ready to go. This is gonna be part of my barbecue series and I just don't have time to peel it off and it's just a lot of work. So I think this was $4, so about a dollar an ear, which is not a bad price. Whole carrots, this is for an upcoming recipe and I'll use the rest of the carrots just for snacking. Some celery for a recipe, 
three onions for several recipes, and then some Roma tomatoes for an upcoming Mexican recipe. Cannot wait to share it with you guys. So that is everything that I picked up this week for groceries. Now let me bring you into what is on the meal plan as well as what's in store for meal prep. Now let's get right into this week's meal plan. So this is my Carriel meal planner. As you know, I love this meal planner so much. I love that it's spiral bound, it's high quality, it's all inclusive of everything that you would ever need to plan your meals. There's a resource tab for your favorite websites, recipe blogs, inventory to do your pantry, your refrigerator, meal plans, which is the best tab, the one that you actually plan out your meals, gathering so you can plan any event that you're hosting, and then a notes section to take notes on your favorite things. So in the meal plan tab, I love the monthly meal prep calendar because you can see at a glance what you are having for dinner the following night. That way you can plan ahead, take out whatever you need to take out of the freezer, stop at the store on your way home if you're missing an ingredient. It just really makes planning your meal prep a lot easier. And then of course, every week there is a weekly menu that you can plan every meal that you're making for the entire week. And then there is a detachable grocery list. I use this every week where you can plan what groceries you need to pick up for that week's meal plan. And there is one for every single week. This meal planner is so awesome. I am on July, so you can see that I'm kind of planning out what I'm having for July. So let's move right into this week's meal prep or meal plan, and I'll show you exactly what we are having. So here's this week. My week goes from Saturday through Friday, so it's starting today, 7-6. So today is the day that I use my weekly, so we will be going out for dinner, so you won't see a meal planned for Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm going to be making sour cream chicken enchiladas. This recipe comes from Louise Lane, my really good friend Lauren's channel. She raves about these enchiladas, so I have to give them a try, and we're just going to pair that with some veggies. On Monday, we're gonna be doing some barbecued whiskey chicken with roasted corn on the cob and possibly roasted potatoes as well, just depending on the complete smart points of the barbecue dinner. Tuesday, I'm going to be making cottage pie. I'm so excited. This is a mashed potato, meaty, vegetable, delicious comfort food dinner. Wednesday, we'll be having air fryer taco fried egg rolls. How good does that sound? Egg rolls and tacos together. Uh, yes, please. And we'll pair that with some veggies. And then Thursday and Friday is typically leftovers because we just have extra food left over that we've prepared through the rest of the week. On the back of my weekly menu is where I plan my meal prep. So you can even kind of plan out what you're going to have for meal prep and exactly what you need to meal prep for the following week. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be making a sausage, egg, and cream cheese casserole. This sounds so good, you guys. You'll be seeing all of this on Monday in Meal Prep Monday, but that sounds absolutely amazing. For lunches, I'm gonna be having smothered pork chops. My husband doesn't like pork chops and I do, so I thought how perfect would it be to have those for meal prep when I'm eating them and he is not. So I'm gonna be making smothered pork chops, veggies, and we'll be roasting up some potatoes. And then for dessert this week, yes, you read that right, I am making brownie batter donuts. Wait until you guys see the recipe and the smart points. So excited to make these. It's my first time making donuts, so I can't wait to share that with you. So you'll be seeing all of these recipes in this upcoming meal prep. So that is what is on my meal plan for this next week. This is my carry on meal planner. If you're interested in this planner, you can purchase it by clicking the link down in the description box, enter my code, and it'll give you 10% off. You can't beat that 10% off of a meal planner. And you guys know I, I love this meal planner so much. It's gorgeous. It's comprehensive. It's everything that you need to stay on track. Thank you for joining me on another WW Weekly Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the goodies that I picked up for this week. I can't wait to try some of the new things that I found. And of course, my meal plan for the week. You will be seeing the majority of these recipes in upcoming videos. And of course, all of those amazing meal prep recipes will be up on Meal Prep Monday. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd take a moment, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload. I do upload almost every single day, so you don't wanna miss a single video. Give this one a thumbs up. 
Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's meal plan and what you're most excited to see. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.